president. I don't have a problem if somebody makes a career out of that, experiencing all the different levels of government, especially if there's somebody that's good. But all those levels should have should have those term limits for right. sure. And, and that's my belief. And there's a lot of reasons why they shouldn't have them. There's a lot of, you know, that argument's pretty big. But that's just, that's not representation of the people's convoy. Well, I agree that's Brian Brazzi that feels that way. I agree 100%. Uh, I have a question for you. I'm from Canada. I'm uh, Mark, okay? Um, I'm a truck driver, I see you. And uh, I have a question for you. If the, go the government's supposed to work for us, okay? Why they don't show up over here? So there's a couple of reasons for that. One, we we actively work at getting them down here. That's usually our first, uh, that's how we set up our meetings first, is we try to get them to come down here. A lot of it is because of how far away from DC we are. They got votes, they got other things going on, but then there's also security uh, concerns uh, from different offices. They were, some of them take the security more serious than others and they have different, different levels. You know, Ted Cruz came out and and that's a win you know he came out here do we want more coming out here jim absolutely jim jordan, jim jordan out here <laughs> jim jordan well, actually talked about coming out good. here as well well uh, it's it's a it's something that you know there's other things at play when it comes to getting them down here do we want them down here absolutely do we try to get them down here absolutely but we're also not going to turn away a, a meeting with a democrat yeah. because he won't come down here uh, you know we they, need the house democrats they, they supposed to be here they supposed to come over here. You're not supposed to go around circles and circles, you know? Uh, it's getting to the straight point, you know? Transparency, right? Yeah, That's absolutely. All that, that this is all about. So, true is true. You're supposed to wait here for them to come. Not coming, you know, around the if circles. If we don't put the, pressure on to, the Beltway, they'll never know we're here. Use we have to, well, you guys, I'm from Canada actually, but you guys, you're supposed to uh, wait for them to come over here. You know, it's a pressure. Um, I, I mean, it costs money. First of all, it costs the money for the truck, truckers, uh, everybody here, uh, uh, everybody who is here. It costs the money, it costs the time, and uh, it doesn't uh, doesn't get uh, like a result. You know, I, I I know I know what you mean. I know what you mean by that. That you you're supposed to. Uh, bring the people actually more people here right <coughs> that's one thing the other thing is this is the waste of money and time right now for the people that are out here because we can move on you know when uh something is happening you know talking is talking right but the the time is to, to uh, the time is uh, about to change you know uh, the 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 I don't know how to say it. It's it's about to change the uh, the the entire situation right now, you know, because it costs money and and it costs time for the people who are all over here. They work for us, yeah. So bring them. You're not you're not wrong in what you're saying. You're you're not wrong in what you're saying. But the but you have. To, they're never. They will never. They will never come here without us putting pressure on them unfortunately that's the situation that we're in you are absolutely right they should come to us 100 percent, i agree with you 100 percent, i agree happened? that what going happened? around the beltway is wasting time and money what happened i don't in, agree in actually let me rephrase i yep. don't agree it's wasting money because i i are we burning through money doing it absolutely but i don't think it's a waste because we have to do that in order to let the world know that we're here. We have to continue to put DC Metropolitan on high alert, blocking exits. We have to continue doing those things in order to get the attention to let DC know we're still here and we ain't going nowhere. We don't have a choice. This is what we have to do. Now, I understand that's frustrating. It's extremely frustrating, but welcome to America, man. That's what we're going through. That's, that's what it is. And I'll say this. I love Canada. I love everything they did, but their politicians didn't step foot out of the Capitol building and they were sitting on their front door. At least we got some meetings going on. And I'll tell you that right now, that's a win. And we're doing good things and we're getting those things because we're out on the beltway doing what we're doing. That's why we're getting the meetings that we're getting. That's the facts. Yeah. We you're, you're right. We're, we're, we're giving right, them as little ammo as they. Canada, actually, in Ottawa, I went, I, I went there. 
what happened right now with these people, you know, they block, well, <laughs> the government said that they blocking, you know, the, 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 the capital, right? Yeah. Over there. And that's the ammunition, but right? We're not trying this to is, that. this is, uh, the, the people have lost like trucks. They, they have lost the, the, their homes. <laughs> jobs people are right here too losing yeah. their trucks exactly. losing their homes losing For their, more, more time, more losing time, their jobs more time brian just understand more it's time all, it's, all it's gonna well take to here. it's gonna uh, lo uh you guys are gonna lose the time you know you have to invent something that's so why right now we're trying to rally at the state levels and then get everybody at the state capitals across the country at the same time that we're doing what we're doing. It's very important that we put the pressure onto the state levels. The fight right now, honestly, is at the state level, but we have to stay here and keep putting pressure here at the same time. The positive so what we're doing, that is the change. That is the next step, don't they say is the getting the state. Justice moves slowly. Well, slowly. We have to show our that's, endurance. That's the time. Our, yes. no, that's the time. You want to raise something? To stick it out. Yes. No. I was just going to say that when he talked about not getting involved, I would just disagree. In Shake Shack, when I got attacked by an Antifa, all the employees knew what the convoy was about. When I said that we're fighting for, they're fighting for you guys, you say, yeah, they're fighting for us. They all know what's going on. People in D.C. know what's going on. It may not look like it, but they do know what's going on. So we are getting involved because they show up in here. And the reason why DC Metro keeps shutting down the, the exits, the exact words were, we're afraid of Ottawa. Oh yeah, uh, oh yeah. yeah. That's their exact yeah. words. <laughs> yeah. We're afraid we of Ottawa. We, got them on the road. we can't just occupy DC like Ottawa yeah. did. We're yeah, it's a little different that. here. We're doing it a little slower. <laughs> and if we're trying to do it diplomatically first. And if we do start parking it, that's that ammunition that's that the media can have. Like, oh, they're they're impeding, they're... I mean, it might have to get to that point eventually, but right Maybe. now, again, diplomatic first. Yeah, right. So uh, you mentioned that congressmen do not want to talk until the midterm. Are there any plans to get them to talk before the midterm since the midterm is still so far out away? Pressure at